Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in guys and girls. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And for all of the returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning back in and to Blooming Woman's page, okay? The Blooming Woman page has a B in there, but the B is silent. It is just like a womb, like a womb inside of a woman, Blooming Woman, okay? Um, so yes, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the grasshopper spirit animal or animal totem, however you wanna look at it or however it may resonate with you. And I'm gonna be telling you guys exactly what it means when you actually see this insect inside your life. When you see it as a synchronicity over and over again, everywhere you go, or if you just see it one time. Either way, when you see this insect and you feel like it's actually trying to talk to you, or guide you, or tell you something, or you feel like there's some sort of connection between you and that grasshopper. What does that mean? What does it symbolize? And what is the grasshopper trying to tell you? I'm gonna be talking about all of these things inside of this video, but first, I just wanna take a second to say thank you so much to all of my subscribers. Once again, thank you because without you guys, I would have never be here at 1,000 subscribers. And to me, that's a lot of subscribers. And I really appreciate you guys, and I love you guys so much. Thank you for the support, and I'm gonna continue to spread my love to you, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what the grasshopper has to teach us. Okay, I have a question for you. Are you ready to take a leap of faith? If the answer to that question is yes, then you are definitely going to be benefiting from seeing the grasshopper as your spirit animal or spirit guide, okay? And the reason why I say this is because when you see the grasshopper inside of your life, one of the reasons why it's such a positive omen to see is because the grasshopper actually represents positivity, prosperity, and most of all, it represents good luck. It represents good fortune. It basically is favoring a happy outcome or a favorable idealistic outcome. So if you are going through life or you're going through a situation where you're basically going into the unknown or you're going into a situation where you might fear um, making a decision, or you might fear if you're gonna be successful or if things are gonna turn out good, um, and you see the grasshopper inside of your life, it is actually a really sure indicator that you are going to be successful in your endeavor, or you are going to be um, prosperous, or that you're gonna have a favorable outcome and whatever it is that's going on in your life that the grasshopper is trying to speak to you about, okay? So the only way this is gonna work though is if you actually take a leap of faith, okay? So the grasshopper comes into your life to basically tell you that now's the time to take action. Now's the time to stop procrastinating and stop basically um, thinking about all the things that could go wrong in a situation or trying to weigh out the pros and cons. The grasshopper is hopping into your life and hopping into um, your perspective and into your path to basically tell you that now it's time for you to hop and now it's time for you to take a leap of faith, okay? Now is the time for you to actually make that first initial move in order to get things moving in order to take the chance because if you take the chance you are actually going to succeed and you're actually going to have a favorable outcome so the grasshopper is a sure 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 omen that you can stop worrying and just go straight for it and take that first step that first leap of faith okay 
So another thing that grasshopper also represents when you see it is to be fearless. Because grasshoppers usually come into people's lives to as a messenger when they're experiencing something that they're very fearful of or something that they are just unsure of or something that they're kind of um, really trying to balance should I or should I not and researching and um, really overthinking and over criticizing and just waiting around for the best moment and the grasshopper really is there to tell you to be fearless and sometimes the way the grasshopper jumps at you when you do see it inside of your life it almost is like it's trying to scare you it's almost like it's trying to get you to feel a little bit scared and then you look and it's just a little grasshopper harmless that's just there with a bright green color to tell you that you're gonna have really good luck in whatever it is that you're worrying about that you shouldn't really be worrying about and to go ahead and take action. Now is the time to take that hop, just like the grasshopper. Now is the time to take that leap into the future, that leap of faith and not worrying about what the outcome is going to be, not fearing the outcome, and to just go ahead and do it. No matter how big that step may be, no matter how much of a leap or a jump it might seem like or how frightful it might feel like, just go and do it because the timing is perfect and the odds are um, the, the you're basically having really good luck and the favor is in your hands it's all up to you to actually take that first step because without taking that first step and that first hop, that first leap, leap of faith, then you kind of miss out on your chances to even have that good luck and see the universe work out like that and see the magic behind um, taking a leap of faith, okay? So the grasshopper represents leap of faith. It represents being um, fearless and it represents time to take action now okay so you can be seeing the grasshopper in times of your life when you are very unsure about a decision for example i recently had an experience with the grasshopper maybe about three weeks ago or probably a month ago where i'm in the midst of making a very very big life changing life life changing decision about relocating permanently um overseas okay and i'm going to do it but a lot of fear came into my head and a lot of blockages started happening and a lot of restrictions starting to occur. And I started to actually think, oh, do I need to wait a little bit? And I was inside my car and out of nowhere, a grasshopper just jumped straight into the window um, and it just came out of nowhere and it just looked at me. And I literally, we locked eyes. I locked eyes with the grasshopper, and as I saw the grasshopper, as soon as I saw it, my mind immediately went to the trip that I was taking, okay, and how I wanted to make that decision, and how I thought I was worrying about how I really was worrying about how everything I hope turns out good. And then at the same time, after I thought about that, I just hear a plane just in the background and I turn my head away from the grasshopper and I look up in the sky and there's a plane just going and going and my intuition just told me straight away that you're gonna make it and you're gonna be able to cross overseas and everything's gonna be okay and the the outcome is gonna be very positive and I'm gonna get really lucky in this situation I just got that feeling like is this gonna be really lucky and I already knew what grasshopper meant but it really put everything into perspective when I was able to analyze the entire situation and experience. So what I'm using that example with you guys is to basically tell you guys that I'm going to, this video, you know, is all about the general meanings of the grasshopper, but I always tell you guys to make sure to check in with yourself as well. Once you know what the animal totem or, or um, insect or synchronicity um, actually means then you go ahead and see how can you actually decipher and decode it 
and understand what the grasshopper is telling you to take a leap of faith with. What is the grasshopper telling you needs an action? What is the grasshopper telling you you need to be fearless with and you need to go ahead and get moving and make that decision and make the steps towards the right direction? Is it something related to your work? Is it something related to your love life? Is it something related to a big decision you have to make? Um, what is the grasshopper saying, okay? And here are some tips on how you can actually understand that and check in with yourself. First thing you wanna do is you wanna pay attention to the thoughts you're having the moment that you saw the grasshopper. And that will help you understand what exactly the grasshopper is trying to speak to you about that you need to take action towards and that whatever it is that's gonna actually be um, a good favorable outcome, okay? What were you actually thinking about the moment that you saw it? Because those first thoughts that just pop into your head just like that when you saw the grasshopper is actually your intuition where it just came out of nowhere. Even if you were pondering on something and then the grasshopper came, that also, that wouldn't be intuition, but that's also a way to check in on what the grasshopper is pointing to. Another thing is to check in on your feelings. Were you feeling fearful? Were you feeling um, um, and anxious? Were you feeling happy? How are you feeling when you actually saw the grasshopper versus the times before you saw the grasshopper? For example, if you're feeling anxious and then about a decision that you needed to make and all of a sudden you saw the grasshopper and you started to feel really, really happy and excited, pay attention to those feelings because it will really help you understand your intuition more and what exactly the grasshopper is trying to speak to you about. And then lastly, you really wanna pay attention to the experience because as you see the grasshopper, sometimes a whole ripple effect can happen with synchronicities and patterns and psychic abilities because when you see synchronicities and patterns in your exterior life, it's actually coming from in here and it's actually called psychic abilities to be able to pick up on that. So pay attention to the experience that happens once you see the grasshopper because it could create a ripple effect, kind of like inside of a matrix, right? Create a ripple effect where not only do you see the grasshopper, but then you also see some words that, that um, remind you of something that a big decision you wanted to make. Or maybe you see um, the car drive by that you actually wanted to buy, but you weren't sure if you wanted to buy it. Um, things of that nature. So pay attention to your thoughts, the moments before and the moments you see the grasshopper. Also pay attention to the feelings you're having, the moments before and the moments you saw the grasshopper, as well as the experience that you were having when you saw the grasshopper. And this can actually work with any animal, okay? But yes, so the grasshopper is such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful creature that is just really a lucky thing to see. And if you're seeing it over and over again and you're having multiple experiences with the grasshopper, that's beautiful and that's great. If you see the grasshopper while you're at work and you see it as an animal totem when you're at work, it can actually represent um, money. It can represent fortune when it comes to finances, okay? Um, so definitely a beautiful creature and a beautiful animal. And I think I touched up on everything when it comes to the grasshopper. I'll probably make a video um, about the actual cricket because there is a difference between grasshopper and a cricket, okay? A, a cr cricket and seeing those insects. But I'm also gonna stay tuned guys because I'm also gonna go ahead and do a black cat video because that's a video request that somebody asked for me to do a black cat video. So that video will be coming to you guys um, and sometime in the future. So yes, I think that's gonna be it for the green grasshopper. Um, it represents good luck, fortune, it represents prosperity, it represents positive outcomes, it represents positive outcomes in love and finances and, and wealth and mental clarity and a decision you have to make, but you have to take the leap of faith, the hop, the grass hop. You have to take the grass hopping leap of faith, 
no matter how big it is, you have to take action. Perfect timing is another thing that the grasshopper also represents, as well as leap of faith, okay? So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I really hope that you guys could learn something new. I hope that you guys could gain something from my video. And don't forget to comment below if you have any video requests, if you have any of your experiences you want to share. If you did not hit the like button yet, make sure that you hit the like button if you're enjoying watching this video right now. So that way you can show your love and spread your love this way. I would really appreciate it. And also, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell notification. That way you won't miss out anytime I make any of my spiritual guidance videos, okay? And if you guys want to actually contact me for any of my healing services, that information will be down below inside of the description box, okay? So thank you so much for tuning in, guys. And I also want to add in for all of my subscribers and everyone viewing, um, you know, I will keep you guys posted and I'll make some videos on after I actually make it to the um, ticketing counter or make it into the airport before I leave for my um, flight. I just want to make sure, make sure everything is good and then I'm going to go ahead and film and show you guys some of my journeys and where, um, and I'm going to Africa by the way. I'm going back to my birth land, okay? I was born in Africa. So I'm going back there and yes, I just wanna show you guys some of my journeys and some of the things I plan on doing while I'm there. It all has to do with spirituality. It all has to do with helping um, others and it all has to do with healing and all these things that I even do on this channel and it has to do with the brand Blooming Woman as well. So thank you guys for tuning in. I love you guys and thank you so much for your support. I will see you all inside of the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.